welcome to the Roselle and Friends talk show with me, your host, Roselle Thompson. It's Black History Month and we are kicking off with the title Claiming Our Heritage. Uh, black British music, now what is that? Often referred to as the music of the African diaspora, meaning uh, African heritage uh, peoples living outside of their original land. So black, British, black music in Britain is uh, something that is rich, dynamic. Uh, we have made a difference to the musical scene and the musical industry here in Great Britain. So we decided to look at some of the musical journeys of some of our stalwarts, some of our greats, some of the known, lesser known, simply because that journey is part of that history. Today we're going to, uh, I'm going to introduce you to uh, a tremendous musical stalwart who's been in the business for at least 25 years. Many of you would have known um, Lascelles James, or LJ, as he likes to be called at times. Lascelles has been around, um, and his music is quite eclectic. We have a fusion of rhythm and blues, we've got jazz, we've got reggae, funk, and, and that makes him quite unique because his style is unique. I'm going to introduce you now to Lascelles. Lascelles, welcome, ah, and morning. thank you for coming on the program. It's nice to be here. Yes, well, Lascelles, you've been in the, music, in the business now for at least 25 years. I would say that you've made your mark. I suppose I did, baby. Yes, you have. <laughs> <laughs> I talked about your, you, your music being very uh, dynamic, mm -hmm. very uh, fused. The genres are fused. Tell us more about, you know, what influenced you? Well, you know, when I was sort of growing up, um, you know, in, in Jamaica, you, 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 you get the American music, so yes. R&B, rhythm and blues, mm -hmm. you know, so um, you'd watch these guys swing around with a saxophone and move in, you know, yes. and the, 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 the crowd shouting and stuff, I said, yeah, that sounds a bit good, you know, yes. um, something we'd like to get into. Right. Uh, I, I was quite interested because having a previous discussion with you, you mentioned the, the fact that um, you started with the vocals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you started singing, but it was interesting because your, your voice couldn't hit those exactly. notes. Yeah. So, you know, that, that you felt that you could express yourself better in um, the, the saxophone. Uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, about that, the beginning of that journey. Did you begin in church, for example, as most well, other black Well, most musicians? of us, you know, we all start singing from the church and yes. things, you know. But I never used to like when the pastors preach it because it takes too long, you know. You wanted <laughs> so to get to the music. I wanted to get to the music. Right. So the music was a nice part of it, especially when they have concerts and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, so when I start singing, you know, I was hearing things in my head, notes, right. which I couldn't reach. Okay. You know? yes. And because of the influence of that saxophone, I said, to you, let me try the thing. When these guys playing all these top notes, I'd love to go there. You know? Yes, yes, you listen yes. To guys like Junior Walker, and he was yes. playing all them top notes, you know. Okay. So that's one of the main reasons I want to take the saxophone. But the thing is, you could move around in the saxophone and dance, and I was okay. kind of a little dancer, you know. So. Right. <laughs> Singer, a dancer, you know? a player, yes. You know, so... Um, so that's one of the main reasons why I picked the saxophone. Right. And so your, your musical journey then would have begun in the church and it took you exactly. uh, it, into the school arena. Tell us about school. School you, 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 from Clarendon, Clarendon, yeah. Jamaica. Yeah. Well, at, in, 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 in school, you know, like every Friday afternoon, mm -hmm. we'll have, um, we all get together and we do different things, you know. Some would be playing on the, on, on the play field and some would be around the piano, messing about, and mm -hmm. that's where the singing, the singing, we get into the singing in that kind of, you and know. And the teachers encourage and that. And the teacher encourage that. Right, okay. You know, mm -hmm. you know so, um, and it go on and on until I reach England. Okay, you know? <laughs> so you arrived here in Britain at the age of what, 14? 14, 14 15, 15. Or okay like. and you went to South Hall Techno uh, College yeah, of Technology yeah um, there was a it's a, 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 a place in Acton called um, Priory Centre Priory Centre yes you know, quite and, well and, known and, yes. and that's where my teaching started okay you know because they had a, a advert for teachers so I went in there to, to, to uh, I had absolutely know nothing about teaching the saxophone <laughs> <laughs> because you say I'm a self-taught guy, you know. No, so, that's so, a very yeah. interesting angle, uh, Lascelles. And I, I was really quite, um, you know, inspired by the self-taught mm -hmm. part mm -hmm. of your career. 
I mean, most people will say, oh, the saxophone, I can't play it, you know, I'm not going to bother. But you have actually taught yourself. Exactly, I'm a self-taught musician. You see, saxophone is a, it's a feel, you know, it's a feel, it's a melodic feel. Yes. You know, it reaches you, it's coming right from your, from your body. Right. You breathe straight into it, mm -hmm. and that's, that's life. Right, you know? yes, yes. <laughs> you know, so, um, so that's the journey of the saxophone, really, in mm -hmm. regards to, yes. to, to, to me, you know, so... So when I started at Priory, you know, I must take off my hat to Mr. Keithway. Wait, he, yes, yeah. I know him well. The flotist, <laughs> he's, he's a flotist. Yes. He was the yes. one that interviewed me for the job. Okay. And I just play a couple of notes. Pabado, but the bat, bat, but yeah, you got the job. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he connected with you. Yeah, and, yes. and because of Priory Centre, I of went course. to um, Southall College of Technology. Technology yes, you know, yes. and that's where I kind of, kind of learn. Mm -hmm. You know, been taught there how to get into teach adults and kids. Yes. You know, and that's the journey move from there onward. Yes. Well, as a, as a sort of having had a teaching background myself, I was really, really. Um, I think it was laudable the fact that you have used the saxophone to. Uh, teach or to deal with children with behavioral problems, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, children mm -hmm. who were, uh, and adults who were dyslexic. Exactly. Um, yeah. And, you know, th those sort of challenges were, um, you were able to overcome mm -hmm. through the use of the saxophone. Exactly. Tell us a little you bit see, more um, about I'm, that. I'm a very patient person. Right. You know, these things you can't learn at university, you've got to grow up with that, with, with, with that feel and vibe. Yes, you know? yes. Um, Sometimes you'll get a, a, a kid or, a, or, or an adult, you know, and you'll say, you teach like three notes, yes. and they kind of hold that three notes, A, B, C, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A, B, C, it's very difficult for them to grasp that A, B, C, right. you know? And then break it down, and keep on the A, and they play that A, and say, where's the A? And say, that's the A, so the B, the C, come back to it, and it's very difficult for them to find it. Right. But then I, um, I play about with them, and I tell like jokes and stuff like mm -hmm. that, and mm -hmm. hold it back. Mm -hmm. And then I let it go again. This is kind of practical yeah. learning. And then bring, it's like you're catching a fish. You let yes. it go, you bring it back again. Mm -hmm. And that's where they start to develop on me. They catch that first three, four notes. Mm -hmm. And the first song I would teach is Happy Birthday. Okay. <laughs> Something most people, yeah, <laughs> everybody yeah, will, yeah. will be able to, um, to, to, to uh, tune into. Well, you know, I, I'm, I, I, you know, so the music then is something that has... Um, uh, 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 taking you from Jamaica to Britain, working with adults, working with kids, looking at behavioural problems, and then where? Band. Yeah, the band, yeah. The band. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm quite interested in the band because it wasn't like, okay, guys, we're all musicians, we're going to form a band, and, you know, we're going to, you know, m make music and, and travel mm -hmm. the world. Well, you know, the thing is, um, I've always wanted... To, to control my movement, okay. you know? mm -hmm. So I didn't want to hang out in the office and people tell me what to do. Right. I wasn't into things like that, you know? So um, I was working um, over in Alston and with about four or five other guys and we said, come on, let's, let's put a band together. Let's put, um, you're gonna play the drums, you know? Right. You're gonna play the guitar and you're gonna play the keyboard. And had they done it before? Right, no, they've never played before. <laughs> I said, listen, I will get my saxophone. I'll play the saxophone, right. you know. So we put a thing, then partner, you know, partner, you put money together. Yes, yes, so yes. So we're putting yes. like... Susu, it's called exactly. in some parts, yes. Yeah. This week, you'll get two pounds. That's right. You know, I get, uh, the second week, the other person get two pounds. Yeah. Pulling money together. Pulling money together. <laughs> Amazing. And I remember one of my mates, he got these keyboards first. Mm -hmm. I was the last person to get the saxophone. Right. You know, and it so happened when I went to Kilburn to pick up my saxophone, I was so excited. You know, they, it wasn't, it, I didn't have a case. It's impossible to buy a sax without a case. You must have a case of when course. you're coming out of the shop. Yes. So I fold it up in the newspaper, oh, you know. Yes. So I was running to catch the bus. You know that, you know, that the old bus. Yes, thing. yes. You get you, onto you can, the back. You can yes. jump on the back of your back. Yes. So <laughs> I run in to catch this bus to go up to Kensal Rice. Right? So, hey, guys, here's my saxophone, mm -hmm. you know. I got the bus like that. The guy changed on into second gear and I missed. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. The saxophone fell over the other side on the car and my body over the other side. Right. And all my hands, my side all ripped off, you know, and the really the guy said, Where's the saxophone? You know, the saxophone, the saxophone, the saxophone. <laughs> fell underneath the car. Yeah. 
Oh dear. And that's where the rough journey, the musical journey right. started. Yes. Um, tell me something about um, the, 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 the kind of financial rewards. Um, in those days, mm -hmm. it's not like today, you know, where you have, you know, uh, you do a performance and you get lots of money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, give me a figure. What, what kind of money were you expected to get? If you, if you did a show in Birmingham, mm -hmm, for example, mm -hmm. what would you get for that? You know, the, 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 the idea of going to Birmingham, <laughs> you know, you're driving on the motorway, you're leaving your parents, and yes. six of you together driving in this, in this van, you right. know? Six people, 60 pounds. 60 pounds. Yes, yeah. and you have to pay petrol, mm -hmm. you know? And by the time you step on the, on, the, on, the, on the motorway to get food and stuff like that, mm -hmm. by the time you get back to London, there's nothing. Right. But right. it's the excitement of yes. driving there yes. and enjoying what you're doing. Yes, you yes, know yes. You know? So that, that has been a hard part of the journey as well. You okay. know, at that part, I wouldn't say that part of the, it was exciting because we're young, you know. Yes, and yes. We're, some of us weren't paying rent and it stuff like that. It was the doing. That. And there was... Yeah, it was doing. Yes, yeah, yeah. and the yeah. passion. And the passion. Right, okay. Yeah. So before we come to an end, tell me, um, tell me who really influenced you. So it's jazz music, we, we know mm -hmm. about, you know, the rhythm and blue, but give me some names. Well, who are the giants? The, the, the first sax player I really listened to was uh, Charlie Parker. Ah, yes, yes. But I just saw the name on the album called The Bird, you know, mm -hmm. and listen to how he plays. He was telling a story with his own, mm -hmm. you know. Although sometimes we listen to R and B, okay, they play and it's not. You know, yes, that's yes. cool. But Parker was going. You know, that yes. was telling a story. Okay, yes, you know, yes, that's nice. Yes, and you could move and. Okay, <laughs> yeah. uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, rather like you know. talking drums. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Yeah. exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. You know, mm -hmm. and then from that you go, you go guy like Sonny State, you know, Sonny Rollins and, yes, and all yes. these guys, you know. Junior. You know, Junior Walker, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, so those, those guys influenced yeah, me. Giants, playing. absolute giants. Yeah, these giants. guys are giants, yeah. And today you have, we have Lascelles James, <laughs> we have a fusion of rhythm and blues, jazz, funk, yeah. reggae. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I, I have to say it's, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. And I know those of you who've seen Lascelles over the years, you know, would really take, you know, your hat off to the fact that you've stayed there. You've been there, mm -hmm, you've been mm -hmm. in the trenches, exactly. you've stayed there exactly. and you're still doing it. Yeah, exactly. Because there exactly. are lots of other things that you're doing out there today. So, you know, I, I have to say as, a, you know, a musical giant, I see you as a musical giant, I, 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 I describe ourselves as Britain's foremost black saxophonist. <laughs> <laughs> or LJ. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, I really thank you yeah. for coming on the show today. Um, you know, if it's one thing I think the young people should mm -hmm. take is the fact that you don't give up, mm, no, never no, give up, no, that no. you could be self-taught, exactly. that, you know, even when it's difficult, mm -hmm. you find a way of going over or under that barrier or around mm -hmm. it, you know, in order to maintain that staying power. And that's what I think you have. And that's why well, I love you know, the, what the you road, do. The road is not smooth at all. Not at know? all. Not, not at all. Not you at know, all. When, when you get to the, when you get to that, it's to open up. You got enough. Okay, listen, open up. I'm here, man. That's I want right. to come in. Yes. No, you can't come in. You know. I yes. said, I ain't gonna I'm leaving until until you open until the door. Until you open that door. You know, what I'm saying, <laughs> you know. So I put a loads of time. I practice sometimes like five hours a day. Of course, of course. You know. Yes. I can't play at home, so I go in the in the park. Right. Yeah. Yes. My studio is Your my car. Stage is there. I yes. I go in my car, and I, wow. if it's raining. I pull the seat back mm -hmm. and I sit in my car and I practice. Marvelous. You know, Absolutely when the sun's shining, I go way out in the bushes and I play. You know. Lascelles, um, thank you. Thank you very much. And are you going to play something for us today? Um, you have to. Yeah, uh, uh, my sax is just looking at me. Yes, to play yes, something, yeah, so, that uh, wonderful yeah. instrument. <laughs> yes. Say, yeah. Okay, yes. Okay. Take it away, Lascelles. <laughs>
Phoenix Study Guides are a series of brilliant English books aimed at both children and adults. All books in this series are freestanding and focus on specific areas of learning, or you can work through to build excellent foundation skills for success in English. The Spelling Book The book provides a simple, step-by-step -step method that helps students learn to read and spell through appealing activities, which provide very clear information to help you learn English spelling, reading, and writing rules via a graded approach. Vocabulary Book This refreshingly, lively, easy approach vocabulary skills for students and teachers volume 1 comes packed with 60 units of fun activities to boost your vocabulary, reinforced by 60 gap-filling tests with answers. The Grammar Book is a one-stop grammar guide loaded with helpful tips, worksheets and grammatical rules with 145 tests for students of all ages. Essential for SATs, ideal for all key stages 1 to 4. Clear, concise teaching methods and easy to follow techniques. An excellent resource for mastering subject terminology in GCSE English. Get your copy today. Or email eaglepublications58 at gmail.com also available on Amazon and all good booksellers. The sales that was brilliant. Thank you very much and thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. And now we move on now to our cooking. Welcome to Roselle and Friends Kitchen. Today's hectic lifestyle has taken away the fun, the enjoyment and the adventure of cooking at home. So we are bringing back the fun of cooking at home. Um, we've got with us in our kitchen uh, Lydia. Lydia Hello. is going to cook Zupa Shaviskova. Shaviova. <laughs> Shaviova. <laughs> okay. Now, we're, we're, we're bringing to you every week um, each one teach one series of cooking home style. And um, to take part in the cooking session, you're invited. And Lydia is surely going to do something absolutely fantastic. It's something of a wonder soup. And it's called sorrel, but Lydia will tell you a little bit more. Lydia. Sorrel soup is Polish traditional soup. It grows all over the world and is really popular in springtime. Okay, for this soup I'm going to use carrot, which I will chop in a minute, chopped spring onion, and chopped sorrel. We can use two bouillons to give better taste. We will add some carrots. So I noticed you're cutting the potatoes small. Does that help the cooking? Yes, it's uh, cooking quicker than mm -hmm. usually because um, that is quick to cook. Yes, yes. Um, and you mentioned that it was a typical Polish soup. So this is something most Polish people would cook. Yes, we cook this soup in springtime because uh, leaves grow in springtime in the fields and mm -hmm. the back of our gardens. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is really natural and really good. Right. We're going to talk in a little while about the health benefits because I find it absolutely amazing that something so simple could have such tremendous benefit. It's, it's, it's astounding. Yes. And, you know, uh, uh, for example, um, um, sorrow boosts our eyesight. Whoa. Uh, builds appetite. Um, the immune system, yes, energy levels as well. Yes. Wow. Well done. I can see you know something about that. <laughs> That's as <well>. right. <laughs> um, some skin conditions as well, apparently, and prevents cancer. Yes. A wonder drug. It yep. has to be. Yep. It has to be. You don't need to have a doctor to. Well, you know, improves kidney uh, uh, um, conditions. Yes. Yes. Wow. Um, it's it really fantastic. Quite it's really amazing. rich in vitamin C, mm -hmm. uh, which we need 
on an everyday basis. So, um, so what are you going to do? How long is it going to cook for now? Um, now we will boil all vegetables with the bouillon for 15 minutes. Yeah. Any spices? And Were you going to put any spices? Yes, we're adding mm -hmm. salt. Mm -hmm. Punch of salt. Oh, not too hard on the salt. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't put black, salt in mine because I actually pepper. don't take salt. Pepper, yes. <laughs> black pepper. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we will bring it to the boil. Yes. Mm -hmm. The vegetables have to be real soft. Mm. And so in, in the end cooking, we add in um, the soil. So, the so, yes. Right. So how long is it going to boil for? Until vegetables are soft. What, About 20, 25 15, minutes? 15 minutes. 15 minutes, right. So that has to be cooked. All the vegetables will be cooked. Yes. Okay, right. And how many people would you say this will serve? Six, seven. Six, seven people. Yes. Mm, roughly cost? Maybe 20 pounds or less. For six people. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that has to be a very cost effective way of cooking goodness yes. and nutrition and, you know, a wonder drug. <laughs> yes, yeah. I would say. That is absolutely fantastic. Apparently it lowers blood pressure as well. Yes, and increases your appetite also. Whoa, whoa. I find um, that absolutely amazing. Um, strong bones yes. as well. I'll tell you one thing that most, most people would be interested in, if not everyone, is that this soup, this simple soup, slows down the aging process. It does. It does. You can see. <laughs> Who needs creams? Who needs medicine? Have sorrel. <laughs> yes. So Lydia, I noticed you haven't put the sorrel in the pot. Everything's there, but not the sorrel. Why is that? Yes. You have to put sorrel into soup when vegetables are cooked. Mm. This is because Sorrel have loads of vitamin C, also acid, yes. which m will stop vegetables to be soft. Ah, oh, so right. that's why you add them. You add sorrel in the end, which I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so it has minimum minimum cooking. Yes. So it doesn't destroy the goodness. Yes. Ah, I see. And we will leave this cook. Mm -hmm for another 10 minutes maximum. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, okay. And after 10 minutes, we will add just some cream. Cream, uh-huh. And boiled egg. Okay, and the boiled egg is to garnish it. Yes, and it is. Yeah, okay, so we look forward to that. So in a moment, we will see a wonderful Zupa Straviova. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now indeed, I'm gonna add some cream to the soup to give lovely creamy color. Mm, yeah. I notice you've got, uh, it is now a very rich olive color and that, that cream has made it really, you know, beautiful. Yes, you've it got is the potatoes beautiful. there, nice and firm, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. it and is. the carrots there, so you've got a pot of goodness, basically. Yes, a it is. A wonder soup, a wonder drug. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> right, yes, I can't wait to taste that. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour soup in the bowl into the bowl. I have some nice chopped potatoes and carrots. Mm. Of course, our sorrel mm -hmm. with beautiful cream in it. Now I'm going to chop some egg. Right, and that egg is now to garnish it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, just as a matter of interest, you. you Serve anything with that soup or just yes, so you or? can. Um, sausage, sausage, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. you can add sausage with it. What about bread? Yes, as, homemade as, bread oh, is right, okay. perfect. Mm -hmm. Can be even homemade garlic bread. It's oh, beautiful yes, as well yes, that sounds great. That sounds great. I do like garlic bread, okay, and that looks very nice and artistic. Yes, yes, beautiful. And this is our sorrow soup. Zupa, Stravishka. <laughs> yes, okay. Well, I think you can wait to taste it. Yes, I, I, I really surely have to taste this soup. Right, okay. Some of the potato. Mm. What do you think? Tangy. Yes, it is tangy. Beautiful. <laughs> tangy. I'll have some more. Absolutely fantastic, gorgeous. Lydia, thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming 
on Roselle and Friends Kitchen. So right now we're going to go over to the gym. Hi, my name's Cyrus. Welcome to the Roselle and Friends talk show. I'm going to show you a few exercises on how to keep you fit and healthy. First, I'm going to show you a warm up. Yeah, this is called crawl outs. Crawl outs, pretty simple. All you gotta do is to stand nice and balanced like this. And you're gonna come down like this and crawl out. Best thing to do, do about 15 crawl outs, just to warm up and keep your heart, get your heart elevated. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a bit of shoulders. Um, just basic shoulders, really. Shoulder press. Just wanna come up like this. All right, most important thing is to keep a nice 90 degree angle in your shoulders, in your arms. So when you come up, you're gonna press all the way up and back down. Up and down. It's easy. If you want, sometimes it's good to do them slowly as well. It's always good to play about with a speed, never do it at one speed. Some people say, should I do it fast, should I do it slow? It's always better to do it fast and slow. Hi everybody, this is Roselle Thompson sending you many blessings this holiday season as we remember families and those we've lost in this pandemic 2020. Despite the current limitations and uh, in meeting and celebrating this Christmas, I'm still excited about this season of giving. We'll be supporting the Sierra Leone Action for the Disabled in Sierra Leone because Hebrew 13 verse 16 says, do not forget to do good and share with others, for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. So we please God when we give. It's not about what you don't have, but it's really about giving something to those who are in need. And that's what Christmas is all about. So with love from me and the entire team at the Roselle and Friends Talk Show, be blessed and be a blessing to someone this Christmas season.